Good morning, everyone. Let me know if you can hear me having some technical struggles today, but I think everything is working. Happy Monday or Sunday to some of you. Hope your weekend is going well and you're having a lot of fun. I am back here with my little kitchen kit. I'm, it's not even a kitchen. It's like a little display, but this is my first attempt at jumping into miniatures. And if you weren't here last week, we started making this and then there was a lot of stuff I had to do off camera, but I think I got it all together. So let me know where you are tuning in from and what part, well, where you're tuning in from is what part of the world and what time zone you're in, because I think we are here from all over the place. And let me know how the audio is and if you can see me. Um, so, last time we left it off with me having to finish this little seed packet, this little bag, which I actually sewed, guys. You should be proud of me. And I painted the little dot thingies. Now, there are some, like, white specks and stuff, so we're gonna have to hide them. But I think all the parts are here, so now we can start assembling. I even painted the sides of the frames. Now, I didn't stain it with the coffee because I wasn't sure how I felt about it and I was starting to like this red, so we'll see after we put it together how it looks. Hello to Lozzie in your bedroom <laughs> and Jupiter, or should I call you Jane? Kit Kat, Isabella, welcome, welcome. Um, yeah, so this is actually the last step on here and it says... Once all the parts are complete, um, lay them out however you like and glue them down. So that's a little bit stressful to me, but we're going to figure this out. And of course there is a sample photo, so it should end up looking something like this, but maybe we'll try to be a little bit creative. We shall see. Anyway, I'm going to scoot this aside and I guess we should probably... Should we glue the shelves on first because they'll take a while to dry, right? Little birdhouse. Paint, which we probably won't need again today. And I assume these are apples. And all the little paper pieces. The seed packet, I kind of want to remake. No, focus on me. Because I kind of folded it too much and it got a little messy, but for displaying it's probably okay I just don't really like how the line right there is showing but again I'm not I'm not too worried about it I made the little aluminum foil bowl taped it down we'll put the apples on top of this little basket and then the canisters <laughs> I don't know if I like this font but again my main goal is to just complete something for once so we're gonna go with it. So first off, the shelves, and it doesn't say anything about spacing, so I'm just gonna go for it. And also, it kinda doesn't fit in between these two cardboard pieces. I'm gonna have to push it down there. Here. Maybe here. And a last one. This one should go on the bottom, right? So maybe we'll start with the bottom one and then work on spacing from there. Something like that maybe, but let's start with the bottom one. Hey Britt, I am finishing it. Hopefully all the glue and stuff will dry in time. So what have you guys been doing all weekend? I went with Mr. Panda to go buy a new pair of shoes. He actually got a really good deal and got two pairs of shoes. Super exciting. <laughs> and ooh, I tried the new Hojicha latte at Starbucks, which is a roasted green tea. It was a little bit sweet, so if I get it again, I will ask for less syrup or whatever they put in it, but it was so good. And then they also had a melty, they called it Nama chocolate, which is, I guess, directly translated a raw chocolate mocha. 
and that's like the fresh chocolate with a cream in it I don't even know what the English name is but that was delicious it was I thought it was gonna be more like a hot chocolate but it was definitely a mocha so it had a strong coffee flavor and that one was delicious too I have a headache no Lazi maybe you should go and rest drink some water that was my mom's solution to everything oh your leg is bleeding oh drink some water your stomach hurts drink some water <laughs> Is that about right? I'm looking at the camera and trying to figure out the spacing here. That seems about right. Okay, let's go for the middle one. Oh no, why does everyone have a headache? I had one last night too, actually. Maybe you all need to take a break from screen time. I know I shouldn't be saying that as I live stream and need people here to talk with me, but... Y'all need to take care of yourself. Hope that's enough glue. Rest? Meh. <laughs> I'm gonna go downstairs and cuddle, cuddle my dog, but I'll bring you with me. Aw! What kind of doggy? My doggie this morning was so funny. Um, we have a full length mirror in our room and this morning I woke up and she was like growling really quietly and it wasn't really aggressive or anything but just like a little low growl. And I'm like, what are you growling at? And she was looking at the corner of the room. I'm like, well, that's not creepy at all. But then I realized she was looking at a reflection in the mirror. But, like, that mirror's been there forever. Did she just notice it? Or... I'm not sure. I mean, I hope she was just growling out a reflection. Okay. About there, maybe? Maybe a little more down? There? Yeah! That's good. Hopefully it's straight. I'm gonna tilt it and look. Yeah, that's good. I guess I'll put the sign on next. American Kitchen and from the sample, looks like we want to leave a little space so we can glue these down above it. So like, right there maybe. That seems good. Golden Doodle! I love Golden Doodles. I love big dogs, and Elle's a small, she's, I think she's on the small side for a miniature schnauzer as well. She's a tiny dog. Lorian's medium-sized dog. She's bigger than a Shiba, which is considered medium-sized here, but I don't think she's like huge, but I love big dogs. And we were talking about a Golden Doodle, but also, little dogs are easy to travel with, especially in Japan, <laughs> and so we don't know. And we're not going to get another doggy for a while because the two doggies are very happy, but in the future, I would not mind getting a golden doodle. They are beautiful. Do you like doing resin, Abby? I do! Sometimes it stresses me out, but I do enjoy it. I think I need to put something down on that. I don't know if that's heavy enough. I don't think it is. Here, how about... What can I put on this? Here, I'm just gonna put my resin jar on it for now. Except the corners aren't being held down. What else could I put on it? Let me see what I have. I guess that'll do. And... What pets do you have? Um, so Lorian is a mix. We don't know what she is. I adopted her when she was two months old. And Elle is a schnauzer. Miniature schnauzer. 
Hmm, I think we'll decorate the shelves last. And maybe paste down the little flaggy banner thingies next. I'm gonna kind of follow the template because I'm not too invested in how this is laid out. But something like maybe that's stuck down there yeah, seems to be stuck down um I oh know I got this a little too far over maybe do one there down in the middle oh yeah because the flag has to go on here too the flag is about here on this one so maybe we'll scooch this down a little bit Except that kind of overlaps, so I'm gonna do this and this one here, I guess. Kind of all close together. Maybe something like that? How does that look? Scooch this one. Oh yeah, and the birdhouse still has to go. I'll put the birdhouse there. Should the birdhouse be higher up like the sample? Eh, I kind of like it in the middle there. Um, let's see. Oh, we saw these two. Maybe we'll put the chocolate milk under the flag. My dog's more medium sized, very clingy and whiny. Elle is very clingy. Um, Lorian kind of does her own thing. I, I always tell people that Lorian is part cat. Maybe we'll do that. That's cute overlapped, right? I don't know. I'm wearing these shelves that have glue on them. And those go on the shelf, it's fine. It's fine. My little pile of sticks. They have the pan glued on to here. Not with the stuff inside it, but I also am oh here's the third pan. Hmm. Should I glue a pan on? I also don't know if my glue is strong enough to hold a pan. Maybe there. And then we can cut this up. Are we opening any toys? No, not today. I need to restock. I need to find what is out and cute right now. Okay, I think I'm gonna cut this. I'm a little nervous. Just kind of wrap it around, it looks like. Do little bunches here and there. Fill in space. Hello, Cassie! Welcome, welcome! I'm just gonna glue them down, kinda. Wherever. Uh, the weather in New York is 9 degrees Fahrenheit now. I only know Celsius, but that sounds cold. Put a bunch here, I guess. I'm not good at random placement. <laughs> Let me know what kind of toys you'd like to see. I would love to open some more remits, personally, and maybe find some cute gotchas. But I do know that there is a new Tokidoki series coming out sooner or later. I saw it on their Instagram. Would love to check that out. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I'm just going to start gluing stuff down and we're going to hope for the best. 
You know what I fancy? I want a big Mac. Ooh, it sounds good. Actually, let's glue down these squares first. It's hard to spread the glue on this little square. There we go. Yeah, those will be nice. I have slightly been craving Panda Express lately. I know it's not even like authentic Chinese food, it's Chinese American food, but it's delicious. I know it's junky and not good for you probably, but I like orange chicken. Oh, I should've put the, I should've put the stripey one here. Not stars and stars, but that's okay. Am I going to be able to just glue this birdhouse on? Slightly concerned. Gotcha! El element? Rement? Chocolate eggs, cards, any toys, good toys? Okay. Well, I'll try to make a mall run this week. And see what they have and stock up a little. Because our streams have definitely been missing some toy openings. Any characters in particular I should keep my eyes open for? I'm thinking some Pokemon. Personally, something Sanrio maybe? Something Disney? Any animes? I bet there's a bunch of Demon Slayer stuff out because that is so popular right now. And with the new seasons, anime out. I bet they'll have some new stuff soon. Remands. I'll have to go up into my toy room and see. I feel like I have a set of something that I have not opened yet. An old Disney Deco set, uh, cake set that I've kind of been saving, but... Might as well open it. Especially now that I'm making miniatures, I could display them cutely. Uh, Pokemon is good. Does anyone still play Pokemon Go? I do. I do not because my game, I don't know if it was like an update or something, but it kicked me out and I couldn't figure out my login. I didn't know which email I just used to sign it up and I didn't take the time to figure it out. So, I don't really play anymore. I kind of wish I did because it was really good for getting my steps in and stuff. Except since I live in the middle of nowhere, there aren't that many um, pokey stops or whatever they're called. It's funny, there are actually two or three in a park nearby and everyone goes there because those are the only ones here. So you'll see cars drive by, like I'll be walking the dogs and a car will like drive by the corner and they'll slow down, almost stop. And then pick up speed and leave again. Or like turn the corner and go to the next one and do like a few loops. It's actually kind of scary if you're just walking and a car like pulls up alongside you and just slows down. But for the most, for, I mean, as far as I know, I think they're all playing Pokemon Go. I mean, I hope they are. <laughs> but when we used to, when I used to play, we'd walk the dogs through the park and I'd get my, my Pokemon Go fix. I still don't have a smartphone, but once I do, I will. I just updated my phone and I downsized. I had the 8 Plus before, now I have the 12 Pro, I'm, I think it is. But um, it's a little bit smaller and I'm still getting adjusted to it. Like I think it's better because my 8 Plus was way too big. That was, it was overkill. But um, it fe still feels kind of weird. I don't play Pokemon Go, I play Shield, I just pre-ordered Shining Fates. Ooh, are any of you gonna play Pokemon Snap? I'm not sure if I will. I didn't really grow up playing it, so it looks cute, but I don't know if it's something that 
I would put hours into. It does look really cute though. I don't know, am I gonna struggle with these? I might need better glue for these. Or just something to hold it down, perhaps. I need to, but you're gonna play it and I could watch you play it, Cassie. I'm also getting Mario when it comes out on, did we say the 12th? Which is soon. And then I have Monster Hunter Rise coming out, which I'm getting. So many games to play. And I still haven't played Kingdom Hearts 3, even though I got a PS5, because I've been playing other games. And I kind of want to check out my life, my life in Portia? My life on Portia? My life with Portia? <laughs> the farming game. Um, okay, this is a struggle. Yeah, this glue is not the best for gluing these down. I'm just gonna hold it there for a while. Girl, you know I don't know how to stream. Hey, you can just set up your phone and I can watch you on Discord. <laughs> My time at Portia, that's it. Next time it's on sale, I think I'll try to grab it. Okay, how do I glue this down? Just along the toothpick here, maybe? If you guys have better ideas for the layout, let me know. Just kind of looking at the sample and then doing my own thing. Oh, look it. It's stuck to my finger. Okay, and yeah, maybe I'll glue that side down there later. We'll see. Um, let's glue this bunch down and then we can go in with some other stuff maybe. At least this glue dries clear. Let me hold that down for a few seconds. I like point and click adventures like Broken Sword. Hi, Kath! Welcome! Um, you know what game I sometimes pull up and I get addicted to is Cookie Clicker. I don't know why, like, it's, I get addicted to it and I just click and click and click. I think my longest running game was like two weeks or something. And then I got my friend hooked on it and we were like, what are you, what level are you at? Like, what are your points at? I haven't played it in a while though. Did any of you play Neopets when it was in its prime? Because that was my jam. That was like the game. I don't know how long I need to hold this here. I don't think that's heavy enough. Are these all glued down? They are. Is this one? This one's not. I have a save cookie cooker. Yeah, I always forget my saves, but every once in a while I'll think of it and go back to it. It's fun. Uh, 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 what are you barking at? Hey, there's nothing to bark at. Or is there? <laughs> Broken Sword is a murder mystery so good. Huh, I'll check it out. I don't think I've ever heard of it. OMG, I love Neopets. I was a Premier member! I was not a Premier, me premier member because I had no money at the time, but I spent most of my time on there. When Habitarium was a thing, that's where I made my millions. Okay, I think we can glue the birdhouse down next. I still talk to some of my friends from Neopets. Like, that's where I learned HTML, CSS. Like, I'm not up to date anymore, and I probably can't make it code anything now. But back in the day, that was where I got my love for graphic design. 
in the web design. My dog reacted when yours barked. Oh. What is it they say in Zootopia? You're gonna start a howl. <laughs> My dog is currently searching for the breach. It's coming through the internet. Okay, now I think I need to glue some berries on. I'm unsure what I'm doing with this at this point. Maybe, maybe I'll fill this basket. Do I need to glue these down as well? Probably do, huh? These apples or cherries or whatever they are were the worst part of this kit. But I realize that if I'm going to work with small stuff, there's going to be a lot of this. I don't even want to think about when I attempt to make sushi the little grains of rice. Okay. Um, I don't- so <laughs> those are stuck. Do I glue them in one by one? You know what, I may deal with that later. Let's decorate the shelves first. Here's my little tin. To glue that down too. I'm going to try standing this up and see how it looks. I mean, so far so good, right? Yeah, okay. Um, maybe I'll try gluing some berries onto the leaves and stuff. Whoa, my bot is going crazy. I thought I spaced that out. I, I can tell I'm getting old because I cannot keep up with technology anymore. I was like, I grew up with it. I'm never going to be one of those people that is like, I'm too old for this. Back in my day, but here I am at 30, doing exactly that. Okay, I hope that's enough glue. I guess these are supposed to be like little holly sprigs. I don't know. Is it Christmas? Or maybe these are supposed to be berries. They can be whatever you want them to be. So, who here is watching WandaVision? I watched it over the weekend and I am ready for the next episode. I'm so confused and I understand nothing that's going on, but I am hooked. Is that weird if it's just one? I feel like one of them should have three, maybe this one. So, I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, but I posted yesterday that I started organizing my washi tapes so they would be easier to access, and it is a mess right now. I'm hoping to... where did I put them? I made some swatch cards actually out of shrink plastic, and I'm going to try to swatch a bunch of washi uh, that I use a lot when I journal and then I don't have to go through my big boxes of washi each time I want to journal. I can just flip through these and pick out some tapes to use. No, oh, thank you, Kath! I would appreciate that very, very much. Hmm. 
I'm trying to get back to posting regularly, but after a year of pretty much doing nothing, I'm like, socials, thumbnails, what is all of this? There, look, it's a little hidden Mickey. How's that? Can you see it? Okay, I think that's good. And then the little pan. Wait, is it the smallest pan? No, it's the biggest pan. And it's glued on the side here, but with the birdhouse there, I think I'm going to put it here. I think that's okay. Now, the real question is, is it going to stick? My feed is so nice. Thank you. I obsess over it too much. I think I just need to be happy with some of the photos I take and just post them because I'm like, that doesn't look good. And then I never post anything. There we go. I don't know if that's enough glue. But also if I put too much glue on, it's going to slide around. <laughs> Day. Okay, now maybe glue down the flower canisters. I'm gonna put them on the top here. Let's put some glue on the bottom. I feel you, I have a horse account that I followed you with and has to fit to be uploaded. I'll follow back later after the stream, but, um, I, like, even though I say I'm fussy about it, I see beautiful streams and I cannot even imagine how they find all those, like, spots to match their feed and stuff, because for me, I just need, like, you know, the right colored background, but the accounts of people who go out and about and have like color coordinated themes I think they're really cool I'm excited with how this is coming together and I'm also very excited to start the actual dollhouse room kit. I know I'm probably gonna rage quit multiple times throughout, but it feels so good when it's coming together and it looks finished more or less. I think I can just go like that. Actually, maybe this side is the bottom because there's some paper on there. Oh, I've been meaning to ask what music you guys have been listening to lately because I need some new music. I tend to find an artist or song I like and just listen to that for weeks or months and then suddenly get bored. Right now I'm on a Yoasobi kick and she's a very popular artist here right now I would say. And her newest, I think it's her newest song, the opening for Beastars. I don't watch the anime, but I love the music. The music video is kind of creepy, but the music's really good. Okay, first shelf is complete. Next is the apple tin dish thingy. So first of all, I'm going to glue the little piece of foil down because I felt that one wasn't enough. And then I just have to cover the top. And they put some leaves in there. I might do that after. I'm going to just put some glue down on this and pop some apples on there. And we'll figure it out from there, I think. I live in Norway. I've never seen anything like this here. Is it a kit and you decorate however you like? Hey, 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 hey. I don't know what you're growling at. Elf. Elf. It's probably your sister walking around. Um, yes, it is this kit. Um, last week I put together, I cut out like the cardboard, pasted on the fabric and stuff, and 
today I'm just putting it, assembling it all, but this one came with all these little pieces, but a lot of the kits, you literally have to build the furniture and stuff. They're just little dollhouse kits, and this one's a simple American kitchen diorama. And we had this discussion that there actually are kitchens in America that look like this. I have a cup of tea, Monster Munch, what is munch? Monster Munch? And grapes. I've been listening to a lot of BTS Sia Leopard, Def Leopard, or Leopard, and Disney. I have been I was on a black pink kick for a while. And now I'm kind of back into J-pop. I kind of go back and forth. And like every few months I'll go on a Taylor Swift binge. I don't know if I'm doing this right, guys. <laughs> I feel like there's too many empty spaces. But also at the same time, it's kind of overflowing. Okay, I'm gonna put one more in <laughs> and maybe stop there. There. I think, I think once it dries, it'll be okay. I might have to dab some of these with a little bit of red paint, but. I think it needs a little more height though. We'll pop one or two on top there. Yeah! Watch me destroy everything I just put together. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry and then I'll glue it down. Pop some leaves in there, maybe. I've been listening to theme park loops because I miss Walt Disney World so much. I love listening to Disney park music while I'm crafting. It's, I don't know, it helps me focus more, I feel like. Sometimes I'll need an upbeat song to keep me like motivated and moving but sometimes I just need calm music do I put glue in this I'm, I'm gonna do it it's probably gonna leak out the sides a little but we're gonna go for it just a little bit just keep the apples in there those back in put a dab of glue on the inside again they didn't tell me how to do this they're just like paint it I'm making such a mess hello I wanted to tune in but I'm late and can't stay long my toddler is having a rough day oh no I hope your toddler's day gets better I hope your day does too. But thank you for popping in and saying hi, Kayla. It means a lot. Blackpink's good too. Def Leppard is an old rock group worth a listen. I will put it on my list. I've never heard of them. Cover up that glue spot there. So messy. Maybe one more apple here. And then I'm gonna stop. Or attempt to stop. There. I think that's good. Not too much. We'll let it dry. A very messy, but again, the glue dries clear. So, set that down. And let's see. Go 
Oh, I'm worried that's not going to sit flat. We're going to have to glue it down and hold it. Uh, the pan's going to go in the middle. There's a little baggie behind it. Oh no, it's too tall. Maybe this will go on the bottom shelf then. And I might skip the seed pack. I just don't really like how it turned out. I might cut that off later and remake it. But for now... Ooh, I tried to pull that off. Should not do that. I'll put that. Actually, I'll put that there. Put this here. Oops, there's an apple stuck to it. Put that one there. Do this one in the middle. And the apple basket can go here. I guess. Hold on. Let's see how it looks. What do we think? I mean, it's a little empty here. I could probably find something to put on later. Is there an apple there? I can't, I can't get it. I mean, it's coming together. I don't want to glue these down yet, though. So, I'm going to set this aside for now. We'll come back to it at the end, I guess. And see if it's glueable. But let's take a look at this resin kit I got. The tiny copper pans are so cute. They are. They're also very heavy. They're super sturdy and very well made. I should put the lid on this. The resort TV loops helps me focus. It's crazy. I love Disney Sea background music. I think, yeah, it makes me it helps me focus, it helps me relax, makes me happy. Good things only. Okay. So, where did I put it? Here it is. This is a Daiso dollar store kit and I got I don't remember when I got this. It's been out a while for sure. But it is a Saturn shaped kit. They call it. It comes with a half sphere mold and some decals. You gotta provide your own resin, but I have plenty of that. So let's check this out. Pickled onion yummy. Wait, what is Monster Munch? Is what? Does it have to do with pickled onions? Okay, here are the contents, like I said, the sphere mold, and a fleck of dust, the ring, and then chain, a little star charm, the glitter, which we may actually use today because I don't think I have glitter like this, and more decals to cut out. You know how much I love that. Monster Munch are corn chips that look like monster feet. I have pickled onion ones. That sounds delicious. I'll have to look those up. Corn chips that look like monster feet. This sounds like the best snack ever. Let's open this up. Um, everything provided. Says I'm gonna need resin, UV lamp, toothpick, pin set, uh, scissors, uh, nippers, thumbtack. What do I need the thumbtack for? Washi tape, masking tape, and a clear file or silicone mat. I do need a clear file. I hope that's not to drill a hole because it says use the soft resin. I'm not going to use soft resin today because I don't own any, but we're going to give it a go because I know I can get these rings at my bead store. So even if we mess up today, I can go back and give it another go. But um, give me two seconds while I look for my, well not look for, but grab a clear file, a BRB.
I'm back, took a sip of my tea. I have apple tea today, it's my favorite. Um, I have this, I'm gonna cut it down a little bit though because the glare, <laughs> and it's just a little bit too big, so I don't want to waste it. Mold's pretty tiny. I'll probably be mixing some resin on it, so. Oh, this was the bottom half. I, I guess that's okay. How much of this am I gonna need? I guess we'll just, oh, there we go. Cut this in half here. And I like using clear files because they don't get as dusty as the silicone mats, but you can still clean off the cured resin pretty easily. So these are my go-to. I just buy a 50, a pack of 50 from Amazon. Okay, here's the mold. And you know what? I am going to do this so you guys can see a little better. My trusty postcard cases. And abandoned. No, I'm back. I'm here. I'm going to put a postcard on it so you can see, hopefully. How is that? Actually, maybe we should cut this a little more. How is that? And we'll focus. Better? Better. Now, I need to read the instructions because I have an idea of what's going on, but not completely. The Monster Munch I know are not the same. They are just little potato snacks shaped like little ghosties. Wait, that sounds really cute too. Uh, pour the liquid resin. Add a generous amount of glitter, cure it, pour resin into the round part, arrange the parts. So I'm assuming I make two of these. Arrange decorations, coat with liquid resin, arrange the parts, attaching the pin. Oh yeah, and I think the tack works, some tack works because it's soft resin. So I'm probably going to have to use a drill or a little bale cap piece, which I think will work very well. And then securing the nine pin, etc, etc. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. Um, I do want to make it with galaxy colors, so I will be doing a little bit of resin mixing, color mixing, but for the most part going to be following the tutorial. So let's get started. I bought a signed Pokemon card today, signed by Jason Page. So excited. Ooh, I will have to look up what cards they have made. Are signed Pokemon cards expensive? I didn't know that was a thing you could get. I'm going to use my trusty purple, except it needs to be wiped off. Hold on. Why is it sticky? Jason Page sang the Pokemon theme song. It was $30. Oh, see, I know nothing. I don't even know who sang the Pokemon theme song in Japanese. We'll go purple and blue like usual. So those are my favorite galaxy colors. We'll keep it slightly basic, but also try to give it a cute twist. I'm gonna clean out this mold because it looks a little dusty. Purple and blue is always a good color combo. Well, thank you, Polly Momo T. Your input is always welcome. <laughs> and with the silver stars, I think it will look really good. Okay. This is actually ah, a very tiny mold. Okay, how am I gonna do this? Should I, hmm, it's okay if they get mixed a little, I think. <laughs> I 
I recognize your channel name, but I can't, cl can't click off right now. Abby will miss me. Go follow him after the stream. He makes very cool stuff. What am I looking for? My resin tool. I swear I just opened a new pack, but all I can find are the pieces with the spoon on one side. I need the other one. Look at this. I have three of the... Nope, that's not the same one. I found it. But there is another one in here with a spoon on it. Okay. Let's give this a mix. And this already does have glitter in it. Hi, Lucy. Welcome. We're making, we're making Saturn. And I don't think Saturn is purple and blue, but that's what we're doing. I'm going to try to kind of do a half and half thing and then maybe swirl it together a little. Actually, maybe I'll do a dab of clear glitter in it. Uh, clear glitter, clear resin. And then swirl it a bit. It's probably good. I've subbed to Mr. T. I think Mr. T just uploaded a video today, actually. And I saw the thumbnail before I started streaming, and it looked very cute. <laughs> I'll have to check it out after, too. I would like this to lean a little bit, so I'm gonna do that. Hold on, trying to open this without making a mess. I wonder. Uh, should I cure it once, or is it okay if it gets mixed a little? You know what? I'm just gonna go for it. We can always remake it because it's a silicone mold. I think it'll be fine. Okay, that's good. Hi Lydia! How is Japan going recently? Japan is going good. Well, not really, but... It's okay. <laughs> it's very cold here right now. Um, I don't get much snow where I live, but I know that up north they are getting a bunch of snow. I got the A prize of the new Pokemon lottery. Did you play? I did. Okay, so I didn't play for myself. My friend asked me to pick up some tickets for her because she was very, very excited about the prizes. And while I usually don't do pickups, I decided to because the prizes were really cute and I didn't want to buy any for myself, but I was like, oh, I can help someone get them and look at them when I get them. And so I went to the store yesterday and said, I would like 15 tickets, please. And the lady was like, oh, you can only have 10. I'm like, okay, that's fine. I'll do 10. And I was thinking I'd go to a different store. But then I pulled 10 and I got an assortment and the A prize. Super excited. And the, lady, the store was excited too. She was like, congratulations. And she was very excited. So she bagged all that up for me. And she goes, okay, so you want five more? I'm like, wait, I can buy 15? She's like, yeah, just that in one transaction. I'm like, well, you could have said that. <laughs> so I did five more. And I got the B prize. Uh, where's my UV lamp? Hold on, I'm gonna abandon you for two seconds to find my UV lamp. I found it. No, they didn't ring the bell. It was just a random, like, DVD rental place, so she was excited that I got, like, good prizes, but otherwise they were just kind of like, whatever. I should put some of these in, right? I was going to be lazy and not, but I'll dab a little bit in. 
So I think out of the 15, I actually got pretty much everything. There were a few prizes that were gone already, but I pretty much got everything except the big Pikachu plush. I feel like I should have done this before I poured in the clear resin. Because I kind of don't want this to get mixed in too much. We'll just do that to give it a little more texture. Can we see it? I have to wait for mine to be shipped. Um, I don't have it with me right now. It's in the other room. But um, I can give you a peek tomorrow. I'll bring them over. And... I don't know if they'll actually fit here. They're, so the plush is huge. I need to figure out how to ship it to my friend. But the prizes are all very, very cute. And it was, I think, 650 and a ticket. So I was, I was hoping for at least one good prize out of 15, but I didn't think I'd get both. It's also very fun shopping with someone else's money. <laughs> but yeah, I haven't really been keeping up with the Ichibankuji stuff lately. I think there are a lot of cute ones. I've also never gotten 15 tickets at once, so in the future, if there's ever a Kuji that I really like, I may have to try doing that. Did you get the last prize? No, it just came out on Saturday and I went on a Sunday morning, so there were still quite a few tickets left. Okay, let me peek at the instructions again. The last prize was just the snow dome in a different color, right? I think the base is white. Uh, we're gonna clear file or silicone that. It doesn't really say at what point to make the second one. I don't think it really matters. So I'm gonna flip this over and cure it again. We'll pop it out and make another. I bought one ticket on the Kingdom Hearts lottery and got a B plush. Whoa! Why is my bot posting the same thing over and over? I don't know how to use stream elements, guys. I really wanted to play the Kingdom Hearts one, but there were so many prizes that I didn't really care for. I was like, oh, I'll just go on Mercari and get the stuff I want, but then I never did. The little rug was really cute. What was the B prize for the Kingdom Hearts lottery? I really wanted the silverware, too, that looked like the Keyblade. So cute. What are we doing? I got stuck doing something. I am making this Daiso kit for this little planet charm. And I'm kinda, I'm, I'm being wild. I added some color to it. Wasn't in the tutorial, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> oh, that pops out very nicely. I don't hate how that looks. So, Let's do the same thing again, because we want it to match up to some extent. Let me grab another paper towel. I think my chat wasn't sad, but I have to go sadly see you. Aw, bye Miku! Thank you for joining. Hope to see you next time. It was a Sora plush, a Mickey plush, or a Dark Mickey plush. I got Dark Mickey. Oh my goodness, that whole Kuji was so cute. It was very, very tempting. I kind of want to put a dab of pink on this side. Should I? I think I'm gonna. I'll be adventurous. it a little again. I'm gonna get the purple. Yes, yes to pink. Okay, I'll do like a little dab of pink. I think it could be pretty. 
and I'll put the stars in before we pour the clear resin in. I always try for the Demer, De Demer, Demon Slayer ones if I can, or BT21, but I only want BT120. I only want BT21 stuff if it has all the characters on it. Interesting. Do you have a favorite? You just like them all. Okay, I don't know if tilting that does anything. I am ashamed to say I don't know too much about the BT21 characters. Like, I can recognize them if I see them, but I don't know all their names. They're really cute, though. I see them around Tokyo. Well, used to. I haven't been to Tokyo in ages. Okay, that's probably good. We'll do a dab of pink. Are all these pre-mixed resins? Yes, these are little um, gel nail pots that I got off of Amazon and I have pre-mixed these colors because they are all colors that I use quite often. So I just like to keep them on hand to save a little bit of time. All, I didn't know you were supposed to have a favorite BTS member either. I love all equally. That's good. You don't have to have a favorite. like. My, my group growing growing up, even now, I love Arashi, the Johnny's group, even though they are no more after December. Um, Nino was my favorite, but I just really love the whole group dynamic, like all of them together. I think that's why they work so well. Like, I mean, you know, you never know what's going on behind the scenes, but what we saw on TV and stuff seemed like they were a group that got along very well together. Ooh, I don't know if this pink is going to show up. Do one more drop. We can hope for the best. Otherwise, it'll just kind of blend in, I'm sure. Clever, probably less waste too. That's what I like to think. I do try to use my leftover resin from like when I mix it on palettes like this. I make little stars and stuff to put in shakers, but definitely this way, less waste. Let's pop those bubbles on the surface. And let's do a little shaky shaky with the silver res resin, silver stars. A little more heavy handed than last time, maybe. Oh, that might be too much. <laughs> I just don't like the idea of one member feeling less loved. It looks red on camera. It's pretty, it's pink. That's a sweet thought. There's a group here, um, Kanjani8, and one of them, well, I don't know the whole group dynamics, I don't know them too well, but one of the members is on a TV show that I watch a lot, and his thing is being the least loved member, and he really, he, he takes on that role very well. But I think he's funny. I think I got a little too much resin in there, we'll see how that is when I attach it. I do want to dab these stars in a little too. Give it a bit of a galaxy look by mixing it a little, maybe. <coughs> Arashi! I like Satoshi Ono. I love all of them. Ono, Ono's so sweet. He's so funny. I saw BTS live at the O2 Arena in 2018. Wow! I have only been to two concerts, well, three concerts, but two people in my life. I've only seen Ed Sheeran and Taylor Swift, and both of those were in 2019. <laughs> so I really have not gotten into like the concert live scene. I always thought it was impossible to get tickets because being an Arashi fan, you had to be in the fan club to get tickets, and then it was lottery based, and you had to be like super lucky. So I never really tried for anything. But then my friend invited me to see Ed Sheeran. I got hooked. I'm like, wait, I really love live concerts. So 
I was hoping to go to more last year, but you all know what happened. <laughs> I was supposed to see BTS last March. They are rain dating and honoring seats, so I haven't gotten money back. Ooh, I wonder if they're planning a different event or what's going on with that. The first Ed Sheeran concert I got tickets to, he broke his arm or injured his arm right before he was supposed to come to Japan. So it got postponed till spring. It was supposed to be in November and then it got moved to April. It was my first concert and I thought I'd not get tickets. Got what I thought were poopy seats, but still happy. We were like three, we was like three seats from the front. Wow. This is so cool. <laughs> you guys and BTS. I love their music. I not really gotten into like the members and details and stuff. I think the last K-pop group I really got into was SHINee. Before that, it was Toho Shinki or DBSK. Okay, let's pop this out. Ooh, a little sticky. Might have to cure that again. And also, I filled it a little bit too full, but that pink really pops. I like that. I'm gonna give it another cure and then we'll do the ring part and see what the instructions say. That sounds so cool. It's mostly the music and dancing, but I do love that they are weird. <laughs> I got into Big Bang and then Shiny. I, I did listen to Big Bang too. I saw it twice and black pink. Twice was very, very popular here. Right now, Nijiu is like the next big thing. I hope this isn't a rude question, but how is your English and accent so good? From what I've seen, heard, most Japanese people don't tend to be so fluent. So, long story short, I'm actually American. I grew up in Japan. I look Japanese because I'm adopted, but I grew up in a American home, so technically English is my first language but yeah Abby's an alien <laughs> exactly what Lazi said our residence cards they're just called residence cards now but before when I was growing up they were called alien registration cards so I used to say I'm an alien Might need to trim that. Why are these still sticky? Is there too much pigment in them? We'll coat it with a layer of clear resin later so that will cure that. But anyway, um, round part, nireji wo nagashikomimasu. Pour the liquid into the round resin parts, arrange the parts, arrange the decorations. So I guess the decals go around. Then coat the entire piece with the liquid resin by pouring it little by little down a toothpick. Fill the gaps around the parts set in step five with the resin and cure. Okay, that's gonna be the hard part so it doesn't like overflow or like pool at the bottom, but we shall see. And I need a big resin piece. You know what, I'm just gonna use my clear tape. OMG, <laughs> Abby, please do a stitch impression. No, I'm so bad with impressions. I will just embarrass myself. Also, Stitch has a different voice in Japanese and English. Kind of. I mean, he still sounds, he talks the same way, but it sounds a little different. Okay. So, the decals. This is the part I don't like, cutting these out. Abby is secretly Stitch. Or maybe Angel. You know what? If I'm an alien, I am definitely Reuben. <laughs> because all I care about are my sandwiches and my food. How long did you live in the U.S.? Um, I've lived in the U.S. on and off. I would say maybe, maybe five years total, but maybe not even that long. 
Oh no, doorbell. Um, I'm gonna pause stream because I'm not sure what that is. I'm back! That was weird. It was a door-to-door, -door, not salesman, door-to-door -door purchase person. They wanted to buy stuff. That was weird. Okay, let's get back to cutting these out. They're really cute. They're little constellation pieces. And they are definitely going to be a pain to cut out, but... I think we want the one that says, well, we want the pretty stars. I'm just going to cut a few out and we'll see. Uh, buy stuff, weird indeed. Like used items, yeah. They were, I think it's like a second hand shop. He was saying, we'll buy anything except for like large refrigerators. I'm like, uh, my refrigerator's fine. But <laughs> I don't know exactly what they wanted but they're like we'll take clothes and shoes because people haven't been coming to sell them and I don't, I don't know I don't know if they wanted to like try and get into the house and look around or what but I don't think it was super sketchy but no <laughs> we do have a truck that comes around every once in a while that will just collect um, big garbage because we just can't leave it on the side of the street like we have set garbage days and like certain rules like you can't put out big stuff so I think he was trying to be helpful but I have nothing to sell so and also I'm streaming yo <laughs> You lock the door again, right? I didn't even open the door. I just talked to him over the inner phone. But like, so many people have been coming around lately. I know that they're everyone's trying to keep their businesses afloat and stuff, but I had someone come the other day. They're like, would you like to buy milk? And that's a normal thing. We do have milk delivery in Japan, so it wasn't a super sketchy thing or anything, but... I'm like, no, I buy my milk at the grocery store. Let's cut this one out. I'm also kind of kind of do this off camera real quick because I can cut faster if it's closer to my face. Uh, Europe, you don't get money for that kind of stuff. You have to donate it. So for the most part, um, they will buy anything. But honestly, I could take it in a pile of, for example, my Aikatsu cards. I had a huge box of them. And they're like, we'll give you $2 for this whole box. I'm like, oh, I've spent like hundreds of dollars on that. But oh, hey. So it's basically a donation. But yeah. But if you just want to get rid of clothes and stuff. Um, you can take them into, I'm sure it's the same for you guys, but like H&M and stores like that, and they will take your unused clothes. I need a tinier scissors! I like to make the outline as neat as possible, because I know it does show up in the resin, even though it's clear. Okay, there's that one. Maybe we'll do one or two more. Let's do the blue one. D 
depends on countries and items, really. Yeah, here in France, you have secondhand stores, too, that buy your stuff and resell it, but you can also donate. Yeah, I would say it's similar to that. I found a handbag I like, tried it on, opened it up to check inside, was okay. Someone left their nudes inside. Awkward. Super awkward. <laughs> I wonder if that was intentional or unintentional. Either way. No thank you. <laughs> oh, she. Free nudes! Do you think you'd ever move to the US? Mm, probably not long term. Mainly because for Mr. Panda to work in America, he would have to get a whole new license. So that would take a while and i don't know if he would enjoy working in america he's not very confident about his english language skills and while i think he does just fine he does not think so so and also i really like living in japan like america is great it's a lot of convenient things i love the food and shopping and all the entertainment options but I have grown up in Japan for most of my life so Japan does feel like home more to me let me spread this out and I guess we'll try placing the decals I only cut out three because they're so small but I also don't want to overdo it because I think the planet, the sphere part itself, will bring a lot of color. Oh, I was like, what did Lucy post? Because I saw there was a deleted message. <laughs> I was trying to see what was going on. I was like, what did Lucy say? <laughs> um, Mr. Pan is a doctor, right? I didn't know that you need a new license if you moved abroad. I think, yeah, it depends on the country and stuff, but yes, for the most part, I think you do. Okay, I want to look at the instructions again because I'm unsure if I do the decals. First, um... Uh, pour the resin in. Again, spread evenly. Oh, they're saying do it in layers, so I guess I'll cure it like this once. Also, let's get that little piece of dust out of there. Oh no, I think it's stuck on the tape. Oh, it might be on the other side of the tape. I can't get that piece of dust. Yeah, it must be on the other side. Oh wait, I need to do... I need to fold the tape over like I was taught. Let's cure this. Uh, where did the name Mr. Panda come from? Um, so the original story was that when we used to chat online, we were a long distance relationship for six years. Uh, there was a Tare Panda that, from Sanrio, like a little emoji that we would use all the time. And my mom was like, that looks like, what's, his, whatever, you know, his real name. So from, that's where he got his like panda nickname. Cause it was like a little, um, kind of roly-poly panda that was lazy and that was just kind of the name when we started YouTube we decided we didn't want to use his real name because you know work and stuff so we're like let's go with panda and then it stuck but <laughs> later on people were like is that because he's Asian I'm like no it's not I didn't even think of that so like in hindsight I mean we may have 
been able to choose, you know, a better name, but there wasn't really any meaning behind it. Just that there was a cute panda emoji that we used a lot when we chatted. Okay, let's do another layer. And I don't think it matters which side. This one needs to be trimmed a little. There's a little piece of resin, so I'm just gonna cut that off. Oh, I feel- oh! I think I'm gonna color the other side just a little bit so it blends better, maybe? I don't know. What do we think? Should I keep it clear? Maybe, because the ring's supposed to be floating, right? I don't know. I'm gonna put some resin around and just do the decals now, too. I may regret this, though. I thought his name maybe meant panda or something similar. <laughs> nope. <laughs> just, just a name we came up with for our internet life. But it does have some meaning behind it. Okay, let's get rid of the air bubbles and put a few of these decals down just to give it some texture. I guess this is going to be the top side then. Didn't even really think about that. Oh, where did it go? I dropped it. Hello? Oh, there they are. I'm just gonna put on Galaxy. Do one on this side. Scoot you into the middle. Ooh, the white one kind of disappears. I also kind of want to put some stars around it, but that doesn't really make sense. Should I? Maybe. I'll do a few. Because why not? <laughs> why can't it just be because he's a little cutie patootie panda bear? Exactly. And that name just kind of stuck. Even outside of YouTube, my friends call him Panda. It's also just kind of easier that way because it's so easy to like slip up and say someone's name and like it's not the biggest deal if his name ever gets out there but just you know trying to keep a little bit of our private life separate. side. Good enough. Actually, I think it looks really good. <laughs> we all know you aren't really called Abby, right, Mrs. Panda? I've had people say that. They're like, should we call you Mrs. Panda? I'm like, that's, I mean, you can. <laughs> I 
Okay, I guess I'll cure it like this and then we'll do the doming part. That's centered. That looks about right. I think that's good. I feel like the ring's almost a little bit too big for the sphere, but we'll see. Can you make a cup out of resin or is it not safe to drink out of? I think there are different types of resin and actually, you know what? I don't know. I don't work with two part resin that much, but I think it shouldn't be too hard to look up if it's like a food grade resin safe or if there's like a coating or something. I'm not sure. What do we call the wolf beast fur baby panda one fur baby panda two <laughs> hi kenny welcome welcome i am making this um planet charm saturn thingy saturn shaped charm and i'm halfway ish done it's coming out okay so far let me look at the instructions again though resin looks like so much fun but also not sure i'd use any of the things i made the same I tend not to put too many charms and stuff on my bags and I don't really wear jewelry but it is a lot of fun to make and I do end up gifting some of the stuff I make so if you're looking for like birthday or Christmas ideas it's always a good way to make custom jewelry and stuff for people sorry I'm trying to read the instructions at the same time that was not going well uh, so we arranged the decoration Coat the entire piece with liquid resin by pouring it little by little down a toothpick. Fill the gaps around the parts. Set in step five with resin and cure. Okay, I I feel like it's just going to run down the dome. Just a thin layer, I guess. Hence the toothpick, I imagine. I'm just use my tool. Just do a thin layer. It's also going to make the piece nice and shiny. I think I'm going to need more resin. Okay, a little more. Why does this look like a really yummy ice cream scoop to me? Or scoop of ice cream. I guess this kind of pulls the piece together and makes it into one design. I think I'm still gonna need some more resin. It looks so pretty though. I really like how this is turning out. I'm gonna have to go back to Daiso soon, see what new stuff they have. Okay, I think that's looking pretty good. Fill in all the cracks and uncovered spots. Let's cure that. Uh, same, but my issue is that I'm not creative. We think all my pieces are missing something. That's why you do kits. Also, there are so many tutorials on YouTube. You just have to follow them. And then once you start making more stuff, you find your own style. I'm still kind of in the process of that, like I know what I like, but 
I feel like I still haven't found, you know, my statement piece or whatever, you know, because crafters have their, like, one thing that they're really good at or, like, the one thing that they sell. I just have Double Joe and Basil, Basil, left, Basil, left on my seven star HR options. You should do it. I haven't played Monster Hunter in a few days. Ingrid, hello! It is cute and pretty, but quite sticky too, yes. Resin can get quite messy. <laughs> Abby, tell us about your non-stationary collections. Um, like my snack stash? <laughs> I wish there were Daisos in London. I want a Daiso UK website. Oh yeah, someone was saying the other day that there was a Daiso online. Did we ever look into that? I kind of forgot to. Okay, when the resin is cured, slowly peel the piece off from the masking tape, turn it over, and put it in the silicone mold. Coat the entire piece with a thin layer of raisin, res, raisin, resin in step four. Set the other resin parts made in step two in the center. Okay, so. Okay, that's smart. I wouldn't have thought to use the mold. Where did the mold go? Hello? Mold? Oh, there you are. Nope, there are apples stuck to the mold. Okay, I use clear tape, so the back shouldn't be sticky, because we're working with clear resin today. I looked, everything is in packs of 10 and 12. Oh, so it's more for, like, resale purpose? Like, buying in bulk? Okay, so it says set it in the mold. Oh, that's really smart. I wouldn't have thought of that. I'm gonna make sure it's even, though. Nothing on the website showed stuff. Ew, I just touched resin. Uh, nothing on the website showed stuff I've seen from you. Aw, bummer. Snack taste test live stream needed? I haven't done one of those in ages. Maybe. We'll see. Still need to set up doggy cam. <laughs> okay, let's spread this resin. Oh, I hear doggy feet. Hello, Al. Oh, she wants to go O-U-T, but just to like sunbathe. She's already been, she's already done her bathroom stuff. It is good weather. It was rainy the past few days, so I can see why. Please hold, L. You can, you can enjoy the sun in about 20 more minutes or whenever I finish this piece. <laughs> Wait, do I cure it first and then put the other piece on? You can buy Daiso stuff on Instagram. True, true. And the markup isn't too bad. I think it's doubled, but I think a lot of the imported Daiso stuff is anyway. Uh, cloak and tear, step four, step the other. Yeah, I think I can just layer it. And the blue side is that side. So we'll try to line it up. How does that look? Does that look lined up? It's gonna bug me later if it's not. I can't really tell. But, I mean, if it's centered, it should be okay, right? I think that's good. Um, cure. Cut the resin. And cure. Okay. So, now we cure this. Hi for a baby panda too. <laughs> It's gonna move around. I think it's gonna be okay. The resin making a slide. I know. I probably should have held it in place. It's fine. Everything is fine. Hey, Mo, welcome. You made it. We are working on finishing up this 
Saturn shaped charm. What what a bizarre name. <laughs> I could have called it like space planet charm. Saturn shaped charm. What's happening tomorrow? What is happening tomorrow? What should we do? The kitchen kit is almost done. And we'll finish this resin kit today. Um, I do need to do some washi tapes watching. We might do that at the end. I also need to put together some stationery packs for my friend because she wants to make Valentine's cards. So we should probably do that. Okay, and then we'll coat this. And I do want to get started on my new dollhouse, but I feel like I need to go through it and look at the instructions and stuff and see what kind of tools I'm going to need. And Valentine cards. Should I make cards too? I should make cards too. Okay, we'll make some stationery packs for my friend and maybe work on some Valentine cards. I would like to do some journaling as well, but I need to get my washi tape situation under control first because it is a hot mess right now. Oh yeah, that slid a bit. Should have held it in place. Oof, I'm gonna need to get another bottle of resin soon. Oh yeah, there's definitely less space on this side. Oh well. At least I can go back and remake it if I buy more of these rings. Mm, I can't tell if I got too much resin on there or not, but... Too late now. Forgot Valentine's is coming up. I don't really celebrate. I celebrate with my friends. Like, we send each other chocolates and cards and stuff. More of a almost Galentine's thing. I do make, like, I try to make a nice dinner for Panda because in Japan, you know, girls give to the guys on Valentine's. Okay, let's cure this and then we'll see how it came out. No one loves me? No, that's not true. Have any of you tried post-crossing? I really liked that when I was getting into postcards because you can get uh, mail from all over the world. Mainly postcards, but that's always fun. My friend also does snack exchanges on Reddit. I'm not really into that, but... She enjoys getting snacks from all over the world, so it does sound like a fun kind of thing. No pain, no one telling me I can't play AC or watch live streams. No one hogging the cover is pretty good. This is true. That reminds me, I gotta make sure I have everything for cream cheese frosting for red velvet next month. Mmm, yum. I've never made a postcard that might not be normal. Like, made made a postcard, just written a postcard, because I love sending postcards. I've only recently started making postcards. Okay, I missed a spot right there, and that bugs me a little bit. But, you know what? That looks pretty good. Hold on. Okay, so here is the above. It's a little crooked, but I think it's actually crooked on both sides, so... Oh no, maybe just this side. It's really pretty. I like how this turned out. I could make this with a smaller sphere and make really cute earrings. And I love the colors that I chose. The purple and blue are really cool. I could put a little more like silver pigment in. So many possibilities. Uh, this is really, really cool. I can't tell where I'm in focus anymore. There. There's also not much light going through from this side. There. Yeah. So yeah, um, the one thing I would fix is hold on to the uh, piece when you're curing the second layer because it will slide around. 
but otherwise for a dollar really fun and they were suggesting soft resin i think that's to put the nine pin in but i'm not sure i'll have to try different types of resin with it too but i approve and let me clean up a bit i think i probably will end here today so you guys should we do postcard making tomorrow or what should we do tomorrow? Let me know what you would like to see and I'll try to pick and plan from there. Duo stream sub goal with Polly Momo T. <laughs> I mean, if Polly Momo T agrees, I'm down. Postcards? Okay, so I'll try to get my washi situation sorted out today. Oh, we didn't finish the frame, but it's just gluing stuff down, so. I'll do that and post a photo on my Instagram, which y'all should follow if you haven't already, but I'm sure you already have. <laughs> and I will see you guys tomorrow, uh, same time, same place, and we shall have some fun then as well. Oh, <laughs> voted. What did you vote for? Uh, uh, stationary packs. Actually, we probably will do stationary packs too because I want to look through my stationary for card making. So we'll try to do both. I'll try to get everything prepared and I will see you guys then. Thanks so much for chatting with me today. Bye.